Hi Dreamers, welcome back. I have July's Ipsy bag here. And as I've been doing for the last couple months, I have already opened it. I've already used and tried all except for one of the products and I will explain why. So I will be doing an unboxing and reviews for you today. So the theme this month, and my card got pretty bent in the bag, is Hot Summer Nights. So it's a pretty cute theme. Ipsy does not put any information on the back of their card. They just have um, a thing that tells you a little bit more information about how to interact with them on social media. So as usual, I will have a blog post, which I will link down below that has the prices of the full size products as well as how much the sample was worth so you can get a full value for the bag. Ipsy is $10 and I will have a link to that down below if you'd like to check it out. The bag is pretty shiny this month. So it's this really metallic silver and I guess these are supposed to be like um, little sun umbrellas. So not my favorite bag that Ipsy has had and there's something on my lip that's bugging me. Um, but it's got like a little blue thing on the zipper. There's one product that I have taken out of the bag, so I'm gonna talk about that first. This was in the box when it came with it. This is a Visanti brush, and it says eyeshadow two. And you see the top, see how it's angled? When I first opened this, I actually thought that it had been smushed in the bag because, you know, it is, really kind of a little bit bigger than the bag. So I thought it had kind of been smushed, so I washed it right away to see if it would even it out, but no, it's supposed to be curved that way. So it's a completely unique brush to anything that I have in my collection. I do have one other Visanti brush, which is, or do I have two? Is this, yes, I have three Visanti brushes. So the blush brush that I use um, every day is by Visanti, and I love this. It's a really just great size, and I've really enjoyed that. I also have a flat foundation brush, which I don't use those for foundation, so I use that one to put on my masks because it's just a lot cleaner and easier to apply. So I was really thrilled to see another Visanti brush because I really like them. They wash fabulously. Um, so I, that foundation one, I wash it every single time that I use it, and I wash, I've washed that blush brush a hundred times and you really can't even tell. So, but this is quite a unique brush it took me a couple of tries to really figure out how to use this brush. So it's, it is very flat and kind of dense, so it's great for packing on eyeshadow in the corner. But what I discovered that I really like this brush for is when I do a halo look, like what I have on right now. And so I take it and I kind of pat that product in the corner and then I use this angle side and I go right in my crease and bring it over and pack it in again. And it's like the perfect size to get just the, the slight connection between the two sides of your halo. So I've really enjoyed it for that. The rest of the products in the bag, I'll finish off with the one I haven't tried. The rest of the products in the bag, and I will I will finish up with the one that I haven't tried. Um, first product that I got is this Too Faced Hangover Primer. I've been wanting to try this forever, so I was really excited that I got it. It does say that it's supposed to make you look 100% more radiant, 100% more hydrated, and have the appearance of a full night's rest. So a full night's rest is not something that I ever have, ever. It just doesn't exist. We have four kids. I have a full-time job as the managing editor of my town's newspaper. I'm also the only editorial staff, which means that I work a lot. Um, my kids also do karate. We have a lot of other things that we do. We've been playing a lot of Pokemon Go lately. So a full night's rest is not something that I ever have. So this does say it has coconut water, a probiotic based ingredient, and skin revivers, and it is silicone free, which I really like. So um, it's just this kind of little sample size. I've tried this out a couple of times and I do like it. Um, I would say that it's right up there with some of my favorite high-end primers. Um, it doesn't, I think, beat my Inlight, the Super Face that I recently discovered. I don't think that it beats this one, but it does come very close. It is a very good quality product. Does it make me look like I have a full night's rest? 
not really. Um, the under eye circles it just doesn't do anything at all for any of that. So I do think that it makes my makeup stay very well. I do like the look that it gives me. I don't like the smell. And I'm not sure what to call it. Um, I can't really smell it smelling like this, but when I put it on my face, it has a definite odor to it that goes away very quickly, but I'm just, I'm just not crazy about it. But I am going to keep trying it and who knows, maybe I will decide to buy the full size because I've been wanting to try that forever. Okay, the next thing is a nail polish by Trust Fun Beauty. I do have three other Trust Fun Beauty nail polishes, so I was excited to get this. And this is in the color No Filter. And it's what I've got on my nails right now. It is a grayish color. I really like it. And I like the Trust Fun Beauty formula. I will say this, it is a very thick formula. And when you apply the first coat, do it very thinly. It will look very streaky and very patchy and you'll think that it's horrible, but do a thin coat and then do a second thin coat on top and this is the look that you get. It looks pretty, it looks fantastic, it looks flawless. You don't see any of those streaks or patches or any of that. Um, if you do a thicker coat, I do have a lot of problems with this formula being very easy to just peel off. So instead of chipping on the ends, you know, you'll get like a little piece that starts to come up on the side and it will just peel off in one sheet. So just a, just a forewarning about the formula, but I really do like it and I think they have some very um, fun and interesting colors. Okay, next is by Skin Iceland. It says Solutions for Stressed Skin. And this is, it says the Antidote Cooling Daily Lotion with Icelandic Kelp. Um, so this is supposed to be just like a lotion, like a moisturizer that you can put on your face. And it's supposed to be cooling and ease stress. Um, I've only tried this once and um, it says to pat gently onto face and throat, enjoy the refreshing cooling sensation. What I think this feels like is the Buxom lip glosses, but on your face. That minty feeling that you get where it's like, does that burn or is it just minty? I didn't find it cooling at all. I really did not enjoy it. I like the Buc Buxom lip glosses. I like the way that they feel on my lips. I don't want that feeling all over my face. So if you really like that feeling and you you know, you know really want that, you feel like that minty feeling is cooling, then you might really enjoy this. But I do not find that minty feeling cooling. I find it to be warming and a bit uncomfortable. So I will not be using this one again. The last thing in here I have not tried, and it's not because I don't want to, it's because of a warning that came on the back of the packaging. This is Palmetto Derma Rejuvenating Antioxidant Mask. It is supposed to brighten your skin and soften your skin. Um, I'm very excited to try this when I pulled it out, and as usual, I went and I read the back of the label to see what it was in it. Um, it does say to patch test, which most of my masks have never said to patch test. So that kind of worried me. It does um, say um, leave on for five to 30 minutes, may cause tingle, remove with water, um, may leave skin with temporary redness, recommended to use at night. It also says may increase sensitivity to sunlight, use sunscreen. So I didn't try this for two reasons. Um, one, my skin has been on my face has been very sensitive lately, unusually so. Um, and I'm not really sure what happened. I haven't changed anything in my routine. There is a bug in here, a flying green bug. I don't know what it is. Anyway, I haven't changed anything in my skincare routine, but I did an exfoliating mask, which I usually do once a week. And for some reason since then, and it's been about two weeks, my skin has been very sensitive. I am taking a different medication, so that may be to blame. Um, I have had some other changes in my skin as well, such as being kind of itchy, which is a normal side effect of the medication. But when I go to put my moisture on it, moisturizer on at night and I'm rubbing it into my face, e even that action with a moisturizer that I've used consistently for a while, 
kind of is a bit uncomfortable on my skin, even that just rubbing motion with a very cooling, um, I use the Dr. Jart uh, water, I'm not sure exactly what it's called, I don't have it with me, but the water moisturizer, it usually feels very cool, but my it just feels a little bit rough um, and uncomfortable to, to rub that into my skin right now. So with something that warrants to patch test and may tingle, I really was really afraid to use it right now. Um, I will try this once my skin is not feeling quite as sensitive. The other thing that is, is says may cause, um, may increase sensitivity to sunlight. Because I am the news editor um, and the only editorial staff of my paper, I'm out in the sun sometimes quite a bit and sometimes I'm not. We're also going on a beach vacation at the first week of August. so. I really don't want to do anything that's going to increase my sensitive sensitivity. Can I English today? I don't want to do anything that's going to increase my sensitivity to sunlight, especially on my face, because I don't want to increase my chances of getting a sunburn when we're going to be outside for a lot longer than I usually am used to. So while I do want to try this product, I'm sorry that I did not try it now, but I hope that you understand my reasons and I will try this and update you guys in either a favorites or um, a empties and fails videos after I do have a chance to try it. So that was everything in this month's Ipsy bag. I am slightly disappointed that there weren't really any makeup products this month. They were all skincare. Um, I'm not really wowed by the box. In fact, there's one product that I don't like at all. I would say that probably my favorite things in the box were the nail polish and the hangover primer. You know, the jury's kind of still out on this, but I am really excited that I got to try it because I've been wanting to for a very long time and it's not cheap. So excited to have that, but overall I do think it was worth my $10. I think the Trust Fund Beauty um, nail polishes are over $10 just by themselves. So I am very pleased with this box. I absolutely love this color of nail polish. And um, anyway, that is everything. At this point, I'm just rambling because I'm tired and it's late at night. And I don't think that the hangover has made me look less tired right now. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe because I will have two more subscription box reviews coming up this month, a little BoxyCharm and Sephora Play. So I will see you in those videos. Don't forget to watch other stuff I post too. Hi.